And we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Saturday night. Saturday night live. We are going live. It's going to be a live crap show. We're going to be doing some arts and crafts. And we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. So if you're watching this at a later time and you want to zip through the boring parts to get to the fun parts, I invite you to do so. In the meantime, I will be interacting with the chat room and we will be uh, talking back and forth and checking everything out. And they'll be bossing me around, telling me what to do. And I'll do what they say because that's the way we roll. That's what we like to do. So, hello and good evening. Hello and good evening. Let me get my iPad up. It's trying. I got a new cord. I got a brand new cord. So, you all know that I had one that was kind of um, all taped together. <laughs> the wires were showing and <laughs> it was becoming a fire hazard. So, uh, Joe bought me two new ones today that are compatible with uh, my iPad. So we've got hopefully good ones that are not generic. So how's everybody doing tonight? Hi, Giovanna. Hi, Janet. Hi, guys. Janet? I'm glad you liked your prize. You won the prize. You had gone to bed and and we said, oh, you're going to be so excited when you get your prize and you didn't even know you won. <laughs> but your name was drawn fair square. So, yeah. And uh, also to let you know, Janet, it only cost me half as much money to, to mail my letters to you. It was my stamps cost $1.15. A dollar fifteen, and I think you pay two thirty for your stamp to me. So it's cheaper for me to send mail to you, and it was just one envelope, so it was no big deal. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was perfect. Yes, good, 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 good. So anyway, uh, while I have you here before you leave, I have been letting um, everybody pick out of my pottery basket okay so you get to pick something out of my pottery basket um so i can put it in this box to mail to you and just a couple of little things nothing big and here's my basket well this is just one basket so you need to tell me what you like janet tell me what what peeps your interest let me get my tea out. Joe fixed me a nice cup of hot tea. Oh, that reminds me. I got to go take my allergy pill before I start itching. So I've got, you tell me what you like, Janet. Two or three things, okay? Well, hi, J.D. <laughs> hi. Long story. Where have you been? We missed you. I remember your picture, but I can't remember your name. JD, JD. Yes, I've been making pottery. I remember your face. Hey, sis. <laughs> hey, sis. Oh, was it Jennifer? Yeah, I was going to say it was Jennifer. Jennifer, hi, honey. <laughs> okay, now, Janet, you can tell me what would you like out of my, my treasure basket here. I've got sand dollars. I've got feet. Tell me what you like. And, um... And I don't know if you want a cross or not, but I've got a dog. I need to make some, I'm going to make some more dogs and make them black. We need a black dog. I've got a white dog. Got black <laughs> but the dogs aren't black. I need to make some black dogs. I've got butterflies. 
So, Janet, you need to tell me what you like, what you want. I've also got the starfish. The hands and feet. Woohoo! Let's see what we got down in here for the hands and feet. I need to make some more of them, too. I got a set of hands and feet for you. What else? You want a you want a big a, a big one with a heart in the middle? What color? I've got them in pink and blue and green and purple. So I'm gonna put these in your box. I also got this size. These are pretty. <laughs> I have to hurry up and get Janet out of the way because she's going to go to bed here in a little bit. The hearts. I got hearts. I got more hearts. Okay. I know it. <laughs> Love the hearts. Okay. Maybe a butterfly. Got some flowers. Hi, Teresa. Teresa, um, I got some good news for you. Yeah, the collars are bright, aren't they? Um, <clears throat> Mr. Schuler went outside the other day, yesterday, and got me one of these. So I have an extra one. So I'm going to send you one, Teresa. She's not speaking fast enough to me. So I'm just going to put them all in her basket. <laughs> They're going in your cart. You're welcome, Teresa. Give me a few days to get it all wrapped up. And I'm going to put your pottery in with that. So it'll save. Uh, I'll pack it together. All right. Now, that's one more person off of my list. Okay, I got Janet off. Okay. And um, let's see, who else did I have? I uh, can't see anybody else on here that was interested. Okay, that's good for now. That's good for now. Yeah. You get your very own box. I'll wrap everything up in tissue so it won't rattle, shake, rattle, and roll when it roll when it goes over <laughs> over the big pond to you. So uh, anyway, we've we've just finishing up on pottery, and um, we did it for the whole month of February. If anybody wants to go back and review those videos, we did pottery all last month. And now we're getting ready to move on. <laughs> I'm taking a couple of weeks just to get things organized and uh, set up, get my table all cleaned off. And I wanted to show you tonight, um, we're all the way up to P. So we're going to do Q next on the puppy. 
And uh, somebody asked me, we have a queen, a queenland healer, a queenland healer as a Q. What was another, what was another Q name that we have? Queen something else. And I think what we're doing now is we're just doing dogs and then giving them the names. <laughs> we're kind of doing it. We're, we're, we're freestyling. Yeah, we'll make her a queen. Yeah. A queen's gore corgi. Corgi. There you go, Janet. <laughs> So we're going to do a we're going to do a queen here in just a minute. Uh, we'll, we'll just a few minutes. We'll do that. And uh, but the first thing I wanted to show you is this. <laughs> I, my mom has this um, had had this book, and uh, we've passed it back and forth. She's let me have it for a while, and then I gave it. Then she asked for it back. So. Um, this has been, it's an encyclopedia of stitchery, and I'm going to use this in my fabric journal. You know, I did a fabric journal with Lisa Conway and, um, or Conley, and, um, and I was going to do different kind of stitches in my, in my fabric journal, and I wanted to show you how interesting it is. I thought, I don't think I'm a nerd if I point this out, but I just wanted to share with you because it was very interesting to me. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Um, but this has got like seven parts, and it's it's got a part for crocheting. And um, if Violet peeps in later on, she'll enjoy this this information because she likes to crochet. And um, <laughs> and. And, and in, in here, it has, um, in the index, it talks about the terms. And I like that, having all of the terms uh, for crocheting in one area. And for each of the uh, parts, they, e they each have their own language. <coughs> like if you're reading a, 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 a pattern for a particular stitch. So I like that because I don't know how many times I've picked up a ball of, of uh, yarn from the store and it's got a, it's got a, a I, I want to say recipe, but it's got a pattern for a pair of socks or something on the back and, and it has all these abbreviations and I have no clue what they are. So hi Cheryl. So I thought this was interesting to know that each of these, uh, different styles of embroidery uh, have terms and abbreviations and then it, it has styles and types of crocheting and I like having this all in one area it's very very interesting to me to see all of that in one area here in the book and um, it, it's like an easy reference to looking it up you know when you want to look something up and then, then the next section is embroidery, and it does the same thing. It has a list of just stitches, and the stitches for embroidery are, is this many, and I had no idea that there was that many stitches that are separate from each other, you know? So the their sky is the limit on a board and embroidery, you know, of any kind of stitchery. So then it goes into knitting and then it goes into macrame, rug making, sewing. It's got even a sewing section and then it's got tatting on the very last. And I think that is very interesting. My my great grandmother used to tat and I used to watch her tat and it was very interesting to have a shuttle and and to, and to actually make lace is what you're doing there. And my mom has a shuttle and she has done tatting, but it takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience to learn how to do that. 
But anyway, I thought this book was very interesting and I'm glad I got to borrow it back. And I hope to be able to use some of the stitches in my fabric journal. Mm -hmm. That was my, my, uh, and if anybody was interested in this book, it's very old. I'll have to look up the date, but it's by Mildred Graves Ryan. If anybody is interested in a stitchery encyclopedia. So it's uh, to have it all in one book is valuable to me. And uh, let's see when this book was written. Garden City, New York. 1979. So there you go. Actually, it was a it it was a remake from a 1905 book. So that's how far back it goes. It is a very awesome book. I'm very interested in it. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, I thought it was interesting. And it's got you know it's got some pictures in it. Of course, it's all black and white. Uh, but that's because that's how far back it goes. But um, but it is, you know, easy to see the stitches. And, of course, when you get into the embroidery. And uh, I would love to have, like, a chart to see all of them on one page. And uh, let me go back to the beginning of it and let's see if there might be a, an overall view. But, um, but it would be neat to have a poster with all of the embroidery on it. With, like this. Exactly like this is what I'm talking about. So that's interesting. And this is what I want to do in my fabric journal. I want to do, do some of these stitches. And I thought it would be cute. And, you know, I did all the felting. And, and I've just got them pinned in there now, a lot of them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, if, it's, if I don't like the black and white, I'll have to paint it in. And, yeah, get my colored pencils out. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, but I, I thought it would be really cool to do some of these stitches around my embroidery, my felting pieces that I put in my book. So my journal. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. I wanted to share that with you guys. So that's all that. And I wanted to get out my uh, stencil book and do a, uh, and do some happy mail something tether. Hi, Lucy. Hi, sweetie. Where you been, girl? <laughs> welcome, welcome. So, uh, um, let's see, let's see if we can find any happy mail in here. <laughs> you all talking about what you had for dinner? Did Tracy? You've already eaten, so you don't have to go cook. Good. Here is some paper from Happy Mail. This is from Happy Mail. I got some money. Let's put some. This is from Sue. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. I'm gonna put some money in my on my next page. Put some money on it. Yeah. And these are really pretty. I want to use these tonight. And some some envelope paper. I saved the envelopes. And look at this postcard. Wouldn't that be cute? This came from Deb Weaver. Thank you, Deb. So, yeah, this would be cute things to use. And, and somebody sent me this. Debbie sent me this, too. Deb Weaver did. So, I'm going to put all of this on a page. I think that's enough. I think that'll work. And if I need something else, I'll just come right back into this box. But I can use a combination of these. Somebody sent me this. And it's from Deborah Little John. I wrote it on the back. So you see, I've got happy mail from you guys. And I need to, I'm going to use it tonight. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl's going to be falling asleep because she had a great big lemon uh, pizza and a piece of lemon cheesecake pie. Woo! baby that sounds so good so good so good so i've got some happy mail i'm gonna put that there and i'm gonna get my book 
And we're going to do some art pages. So I need to find another crown. I might have to make one. I might have to make a crown. Might have to. But these are some other Happy Mail pages that I made. And they turned out so cute. They really, really did. So cute. Get, my, get in view here. How's that? I think... We're going to get the teenager from next door over here tomorrow to help work on that silly camera in the garage. Joe got the camera re, re, uh, rewired because, you know, Nora chewed up the wire on my new camera. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this was the Cheryl Johnson pages. they cute. And here's some more Happy Mail pages. From, this is from Colleen, and this one is from Happy Mail. It just says Happy Mail, so I think it's from a variety of people. Yes. Luckily, he, he knows how to do that kind of thing. <laughs> and here's another envelope with a pocket. This came from Colleen. So I've got a tuck spot. So let's start a new page tonight. What color should we start with, girls? Since we had lemon cheesecake, maybe I should do a lemon. Blue and blue and yellow is you blue and yellow. Have you ever done turquoise and yellow together? It's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Can't eat cheesecake. It never leaves your body. <laughs> uh -huh. A permanent attachment to the hips. <laughs> I understand that. Thank you, Teresa. That's sweet to do that. Thank you. So anyway, I'm going to paint these with a little bit of paint. Get some get some background going here. Maybe, maybe not. I was, uh, well, I guess it was kind of busy today. My mom has had a little belly ache, and uh, she's better. And uh, but I told her, I said, "Well, I'll come over and go to get your groceries for you." So I was a good daughter today. Helped my mom and picked up some of her prescriptions that she had. And, and she says, I don't want you all to wait on me. And I said, but mom, I said, that's that's your fault. It's all your fault for having five kids. What do you expect us to do? <laughs> what do you think we're going to do? <laughs> she thinks we're not going to, she, she, that we don't, she's very independent. So I understand where that comes from because I, I guess I'm independent too. I probably take after her. <laughs> yeah gotta help my mom she doesn't require she's not high maintenance at all not at all 
she's a she's a wonderful mother. She she never ever wanted to to burden us kids, you know, and uh, and we keep telling her that uh, she's you know we're gonna we're gonna take care of her, so she might as well just get used to it, and because because we want to, it's not because we have to, it's because we want to. But I think she's on the upswing of her belly ache. She ate she ate popcorn and wasn't supposed to, and she did anyway. So I think that was the culprit. So I guess uh, we're going to remove the popcorn from the house. So that won't happen again. Because you think, oh, it wasn't that bad last time, you know. Well, it was this time. Uh-huh. It played havoc on her little belly. We just don't bounce back as fast as we want to. <laughs> you want Joe to tell you a story? <laughs> Oh, I know. I do, Joyce. I don't. I. I. Uh, I do. <laughs> we do. We're givers. We like to do for each other. And my sister, she made her some potato soup. And uh, my sister lives next door to her, so she's over there literally every day. And. Uh, and she called me this morning, giving me an update. And I'm just a mile away. It's not like I'm very far. I'm not very far away. Not at all. Okay, how about that? Is that enough? Oh, I'm so glad you had your grandmother, Jennifer. That's wonderful that she was there for you. And Cheryl had an aunt. Oh, how nice. Aren't those pretty? Just yellow and... and um. A Luguina teal, some kind of a Luguina, Laguna. I think Laguna, isn't that a lizard or a beach? I think it's both. Anyway, there's that. So let's get my supplies out. We might have to put that on there. He's been flying around here on my table. He was a uh, cut out for a, a dog tag. I did. We didn't know what I needed, but I love this. It's a it's a hillside Italian. Is it Italian? I think it's Italian. And I have a one of these rulers. Now, Lisa Conley, she she has a ruler like this that she made, and she chipped away the edges of a of a of a plastic ruler, and and she makes these deco ledges. Yeah, Italy, and I'm going to try to use it to see if I can deco the edges of this. And this is just a magazine. See if it works. I think it works pretty good. Kind of like that. This was from Deb Weaver. So I'm going to use it today. Oh, I love that. That You can really see it on the, uh, the sky. <coughs> I'm going to go run in there and get my 
my allergy pill real quick. It's a wearing off. Perfect. So we're going to use that. And I've got this beautiful butterfly. And uh, Deborah, Deborah Little John made it. So I need to see. Oh, the pollen is awful. Yeah. I know it is. It's a place. Teresa and but isn't a Laguana? Am I thinking of some maybe a different spelling of a Laguana <laughs> lizard? A, you know, a reptile. I might have the spelling mis done up wrong, which is probably normal for me. Did you see my distressed, no judgment watercolors? <laughs> But she uh, she cut she fussy cut out a butterfly, and this looks like an, a vase of flowers. But look at that! Isn't that pretty on there? Ooh, yes. Uh, I don't. I probably saw your distressed no judgment watercolors. I'll have to look see if I can find it again, Cheryl. Oh, look at that. Looky, looky. <gasps> look at the roses. Wow, you don't have anything to be ashamed of. Yes, it does look like a die cut, Teresa. It does. It's really because it's so symmetrical. Unless she folded it and fussy cut it at the same time, but I can't tell. I don't know, but it's pretty. Very good, Cheryl. Your paintings are coming along fine. Very nice. And I love the colors of that, too. Well, here, you look at that while I go and... Get my allergy. Oh, Joe, will you bring me my allergy pill out of my pill box in the bedroom? Yes. It's the very first white, top white pill on the left. I heard you say that. Oh, you did. So, anyway, I love these. Should I cut them in half and then just use half and then save half? Then I get twice as much love out of it? Yes, I shall do that. I'm just going to cut them in half, and that way I have I, I can use half and save half for two different special occasions. And let's see, did I put a name on the back? Yep, this is from Deb Weaver. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Just this one. Get my. I'm starting to get the sniffles. <laughs> they are thanking you, Joe. Oh, 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 how about a B? Thank you, Jennifer. You just reminded me. I need to put a B on here. I've got my B stamps. I'll get my B stamps out. So, I don't know what I want to do with them yet, but I'm going to put them right there. And I've got a doily drawer. I'm going to put these in my doily drawer. Oh, and I've got some new words I can use. You all can tell me what you want to put on this. You got this. Real, not perfect. Nourish your soul, heart, refuse to, to sink, 
I have no idea what that means. More kindness, less judgment. That's Cheryl's words right there. More kindness, less judgment. Explore. Allow for delays. Purpose. Buy the ticket. Take the ride. Be constantly curious. Slay your day. Dare to fail. Master your craft. Keep going. Begin an adventure. Your story matters. You are more capable than you know. See the world. Forgive them even if they are not sorry. Woohoo! Those are some good strong ones in there. <laughs> more kind with less judgment. Okay, we'll definitely use that one, Teresa. I mean, Cheryl. Take the ride. Put the plane over Italy. Okay. Buy the ticket. Take the ride. <gasps> Very good. Oh, you guys are good. Okay. I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to use both of them. Cool. Uh, we can thank Violet Johnson for these little words. Uh, she put a free website on my Facebook page. Uh, with with a whole page of these things. And I, this is the first time I've got to use them. So, yeah, I like it, like it, like it. Cool. Yeah, we can use more than one. No harm in that. Thank you, guys. Good. I like that. So far, so good. We have a postcard. And I could put a stamp. I can put a, a stamp on the postcard. Um, I might have a I might have a, a stamp from 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 Janet. <laughs> Janet has has uh, England stamps. And I, I keep all my little used stamps right up here. So let's see what we got in the stamp department. It's America, 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 America. Don't need that. Don't need that. Janet, do you need any American stamps? I'll put these, I can put these America stamps in your box. Stamps from America. Would that be fun? Okay. Because I, you know, I have a lot of them from from here. <laughs> and then somebody, this is from Nancy. Na is Nancy in here tonight? She was in here the other day. Nancy gave me this envelope. And I've been putting stamps in it. And I think that's what she had in it, too. Yeah, I can give you some a variety of stamps. There's some good ones there. Different. These are all different too. Oh yeah, we'll, we're on it, Nancy. I mean, uh, Janet. I'm all over it. Get you some stamps. That one's different. That one's different. That one's different. Woohoo! Okay. And these are like uh, uh, scrapbook paper. That one's too big. I'll save that one for later. There's some birds for you, Janet. These are American stamps. And, um, and you know, I'm going to put this on our general patent dog, the army dog that we made the other night, and it needed a flag. So I'm going to put this one on it. Put that on our doggy tag. Rabbit trail, I mean, doggy trail. <laughs> so. 
So here he is. And I'm just going to take the stamp. And just stick it on there somewhere. Yeah. I'm just going to glue it down right there. Because I said I had the red, white, and blue stars. And I said it needed a flag on it. Well, it's getting one now. So this is another good example that when you're when you're doing art, you don't have to be finished with it. You can always continue to work on your art. That's the way to do it. So there's an um, freedom forever. Woohoo! There's another flower. It's a different flower. Woohoo! I'll send it to you. Okay. Now, I'll put that back. And there's another stamp that you don't have. It's uh, It's got uh, beauty berries. It's got beauty berries on it, Janet. I'm sending them. I'm sending them. Okay. So... What kind of stamp? I guess I can put a uh, <coughs> I'll put this on there. <coughs> okay. I got a couple of stamps out. I keep those stamps right there. It's a purple heart. <laughs> it is. Have you not seen a purple heart stamp before? Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm not sure what year, but these have been around for a couple years. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, I'm going to put the purple heart on this, um, postcard we're going to use. Shall we make a, uh, make, how about if we make the postcard a tip-in and we write a message on the back. I think that would be fun. So you all, we could, we could, we could put this on the back and make it a, a secret message. I could put another stamp on there too. Oh, look here, Janet. There's a Statue of Liberty. Woohoo! I'll send that to you. Oh, good idea. <laughs> I'll get it off before it dries. <laughs> I'll just trim it up just a little bit, and I'll do that. I'll put it on the dog. He's got a purple heart. Great idea. I see you're using your noodle. Using your noodle. That's awesome. I cut it out. <laughs> Okay, keep me in line, guys. Keep me in line. Help me. Help me, help me. This is this is even better <laughs> than the other night. I'm going to put it right there on the right side of his chest or the left side. 
Does it matter? Should it be over his heart? Carpet tape. Woohoo. Okay, Cheryl. Thank you, honey. Oh, some more pictures. Right, I think. Okay, well, we'll put it over his heart. Wow. That is awesome. And it's, it's general... Pupton Patton. <laughs> hey, Teresa, uh, I mean, uh, Cheryl put up another picture of hers that she painted. Isn't that neat? I like how you've got the contrast on the, on the trees. Good job. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. So that goes back over here. And these are going in Janet's box. I guess while we're here, we probably could make her a little envelope to put it in. I bet I could find something to make an envelope out of. One moment, please. <laughs> Another rabbit trail. <laughs> Look at this. Wouldn't that make a pretty envelope? <laughs> I'll show you how I make an envelope. I take, and I think I want to square this. <laughs> okay. I know. Are you Tracy's going to send me a lace a lace envelope? So anyway, you see how I square that up? To make a square and then you fold it and make the other uh make an X. So then you take and you fold. I forgot how to do it. I think I want to fold it up a third. Maybe I better, instead of, I'll make a sample. <laughs> Let me get a piece of, a blank piece of paper. <laughs> We'll practice with this. <laughs> I forgot how to make an envelope. Isn't that awful? Fold in sides and then the bottom. Okay. Maybe that's what it is. I want to practice on this one first. I think I, I think that's how I did it before. You fold in the sides. And of course, I would pick something that's not right. I folded, I'll overlap them a little bit. I have to overlap it a little bit. Hi, Crafton with Christy. Kristen. Hi, honey. And then you fold this one up. And then this is your envelope, right? <laughs> you have to be brave and do it live. Mm-hmm. Something like that. And it's an envelope. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. I guess it's been a, I've been a little bit since I... Uh, <clears throat> since I made an envelope. I 
I'm just going to barely overlap them. And then you fold this one up to make the bottom. And you can fold this under to give it a little finished look. And there's your envelope. And I am going to use some um, two-sided tape, which I haven't got to use forever in a day. So I need to use it. We'll use some of this. And um, that way I can seal it without using glue because of this uh, it's shiny paper take forever to dry so I'll just use this Maybe just a little bit in the middle. So hi everybody coming in. We uh we're doing an art page <laughs> slash some art page and some happy mail. We got off on a a doggy trail while we were at it. Hi Rebecca. Hi honey. So I'll get the paper off. Put that glue that down. Take the paper off of these guys. There's one. There's the other. And then it's going to glue this down. And there's my envelope. And then if you want to make it special. You can take <clears throat> and fold this down as far as you want. I'm just going to put the tip almost to the bottom, but not all the way. <coughs> and then I'm going to cut this little triangle off. And just clean that up a little bit there. And it makes that edge nice. Like that. So there's my envelope. Ta-da! And you've got perfectly three, four little perfect squares there. Oh, we'll just have to think of something to do with that for decorations before we mail it out. Mm, maybe we could put stamps on it. <laughs> we could put four stamps on there. <laughs> oh, I'm full of beans. I am full of beans. <laughs> I think we should put four stamps on there. Oh, your son wants to be a chef, Joyce? That's cool. That's a good deal. I think that's awesome. And I'm just going to tear these uh, apart. What, baby? Okay. So I think I'm going to put those stamps on there since it's going to be a stamp envelope. And I'm going to still continue to use this double-sided tape because I don't think full, uh, the glue would dry on the foil. <sighs> 
and it won't be long before we get warmed up down here. It's been warm this week, uh, temperature-wise, and as soon as the pool gets heated up, I'm taking the girls for their swimming lessons. Nora's going to learn how to swim. I bet she does. I bet she knows how to do it. It's kind of a natural thing. And Abby, Abby swims with me and she gets in. I, she doesn't like it. I kind of make her have to make her get in, but, but she tolerates it with me as long as I hold her. But if I let go of her, she'll swim back to the place to get out. And I, and that's another reason why I want them to learn how to swim and learn where to get out of the pool. Because if they ever accidentally jump around in the area out there and fall in, I want them to know how to get out and not panic. You know what I mean? Okay, got two more. This is going to be cute. I got to find another stamp to put on my uh, postcard. All righty. Let's see what we can do here now. Getting, up, getting done. We're getting done. We're getting there. This is going to be cute. We might have a. We might have to start doing this for everybody. Does everybody have a stamp envelope? <laughs> Here we go. We just had a. We just had a lesson on how to fold an envelope. And there's tons of videos on how to do it, too, if you forget. Okay, there it is. So now we get to take these other little stamps and give them to Janet. Uh-oh, something sticky here. I stuck something down. <laughs> something stuck. I don't feel it. I must have rubbed it. It was just a corner. I can fix it. It was just a little corner. And I fixed it. Okay. So here's another stamps. There's several different kind of flags. There's a couple of flower, one flower, and there's another flower over here. Some birds, American birds, northern. This is a bulk uh, stamp off of some bulk mail. <laughs> it was on joke mail, actually. There's another pur uh, purple heart. There's the Statue of Liberty. And some berries. And I've got uh, some uh, Uncle Sam's and another bird. So this will go in Janet's box. Is there anything else you'd like to have from America, Janet, that, that we can think of? While I've got you here. <laughs> okay. So let's put. We need a. Um, another couple of stamps. You're 
welcome. So I'm using my stamps up tonight. Good. I was getting too many. <laughs> Susie in the house. Suzanne. Well, my glue won't open all the way. So we'll put that there. And we're going to put our message right here and make this a flip. And there's another postmark right there. Okay. And I want to put another stamp right there on the front. <laughs> we can relax now. Susie's here. And we're going to put that on that page with the Italy and the plane like that. And we'll just make this a little tip end, maybe right there. And I'll put it on in a minute after I glue everything else down. So, all right. And since I had this left over from the uh, paper, I'm going to put it right there. Mm -hmm. That might look good up there. And we'll put that there. It just slithers, slathers right on with this new brush. I'm telling you, girls. These are the best brushes I think I've ever had. Seriously. Can you see what I'm doing? Happy mail page. All right. I like that. And I'm going to take a tissue and wipe off the foil. Today's my brother's birthday. Oh. <laughs> there he is. He's my big brother. <laughs> he's been he's been battling, guys. You can say a prayer for him, please. He's been battling with cancer. He's not giving in to, the, to them mean old drugs.
He's got a beautiful family up home. He lives up. He lives on the homestead where I was born. And uh, so I can go home anytime I want. <laughs> he said. I, he says you can come home anytime. I still have my room with my name on the door. <laughs> he still let. He left the names on the doors. It's cute. Now let's see what kind of tape should we use. This is just some floral tape. It's real small. That kind of blends in. All right. So we got a tip in. That's what a tip in is. You just tape it, tape the edge down to the edge of your paper, and then it, it tips, it opens up anytime you want. Tip in. I got some of this. And we'll put that there. This is so pretty. That one right there. Now we got this page to do. What should we put on it? I still have a piece of envelope. And I've got this little scrapbook paper. It's got a chair. I can either use the chair side or I can use the advertisement side. Kind of like the chair. Oh, we got money. Can't forget about our money. We got the money, honey. Is that the traveling money? Should we put that on the back of the postcard for a little extra spending money? So when we get to Italy, we'll have some extra cash. Who was it that told me that they, somebody, I think it was one of you guys, said that they had a dollar bill and somebody folded it up and origami it into like a, a little shirt or something. And whoever got it said they gave it to him and said that now you're always you'll never be without any money. Okay, Colleen. It was somebody that did origami, but I don't know how to do origami on a dollar bill yet. It'd take me a while to figure it out. So I'll just fan fold it. So it'll be our little extra spending money for when we go abroad. We'll do another tip in. A tip in on a tip in. That's what we'll do. Let me show you. Can you see it? So this tips in. And when you tip it out, this will tip out too. And then you can see the sign, see the, the words. So I'll do another tip in. Always coming up with something. The play money of America.
Let's try that. Okay. Well, I got that done. Okay, let's get back to this page. And I've got I've got some of this. And I've got some more paper. This paper is feels like fabric. It feels like it's it's more of a material than it does paper. So it's got a pretty butterfly down here. So let's try maybe putting this part down here. Fits there nicely. And I'll rip it off. Like that. Save this for another time. And I'll glue this one here. Like that. And then I can still use the chair. And maybe put the butterfly there. I don't know. I'm just sort of laying it down. How's that look? Yeah, the tearing ruler. I got it at the uh, second hand store. And it and uh, it does it it's metal, so it it's it's uh it good it's good. Now, Lisa Conley did show how to uh, make your own with a plastic ruler. You get you a pair of pliers like these or something. And you um, you take the edge of one, one side or the other and you start chipping away the edges and you just nip them. And she's got a video on it. And she showed how she did it. She just took a pair of pliers and broke the edges on her ruler all the way up. And it was pretty consistent the way it chipped. And she made her own tearing ruler. Okay, Janet. I feel like we need another little bling or... Uh, I might be able to find, um, I don't know, I was thinking buttons. Maybe some buttons. And I do have, oh, looky here. I have some buttons on my desk. A B. Thank you, Joyce. I knew I could count on you. These are buttons. And they look like stamps. <laughs> They're little squares. I can make a cluster. I'll do a cluster. <laughs> My like the chips would fly up and hit the <laughs> I can make a cluster and put this and put this the button on top of the cluster. And I have an Eiffel Tower since we're going. Since we're going to Italy, maybe we'll fly over to Paris on our way back. I think that's perfect. And I'll save these for next time. And see, and I think Colleen sent me the gears, and I used those on my on my steampunk dogs. That was fun. So I'm going to do a cluster. So should I do it out of paper or fabric? Or both. Violet safe, safety glasses first. That's right. <laughs> and I got to get a bee out. Let's see what I can find in the bee department. 
I've got, I'm going to get my stamps out. I got a couple of stamps. Let me get a piece of fab, a couple of pieces of fabric. And uh, see if I can find something with this kind of colors. And uh, I found my cluster box while I was at it. Bonus. another box I guess this would be a a bee trail a, a bee trail since I found this in my this is my textile box <laughs> it's in here haven't looked at it forever I went to uh, the pottery barn.com and got free pat free pa uh, samples of uh, two years ago maybe a year ago a long time ago yeah it was at least before i started doing youtube and it was um a, an upholstery shop and they sent me free samples so it's called the pottery barn the same way with the shade store uh so there's all kinds of fabrics so i don't know if any of this blends in uh, with my as a cluster or not who I like that one it's like a velveteen let's use that one and uh, there's quite a few fabric swatches in here and uh, and then this came from an upholstery shop locally and that was free and it's uh, samples So this, you can always check with your upholstery shops to see uh, what kind of free samples they have. So this is just all different kinds of upholstery material that I've collected in fabric. That might be cute on my cluster. So, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That might be cute on my cluster. Hmm, jackpot. Okay. So we know where my textile box is now, so don't be afraid to ask. <laughs> Where's the textile box? You're okay, Abby. Abby's in here. So I found this fabric. I'll get my pinky and shears out. Me a few snippets. And this can be kind of a big cluster, it doesn't have to be tiny, tiny, tiny. I like that piece. And these other little pieces, I'm going to put these in my in my cluster box. <laughs> we all have a box for everything. Mm -hmm. Now that wasn't wall 
uh, yeah, well, that was fabric swatches. And then, of course, wallpaper books come from the wallpaper stores, yeah. Well, yeah, I do have a lot of stuff. I do. But I'm going to use a, a little piece of that. And I don't, I thought this would look pretty with this page too. It kind of blended in. So I'm going to get a, a snippet, a snippet of this one. And it may be that I just need a just one little long piece. Sometimes that looks good draped across because they all can't be the same size or you won't be able to see the different fabrics. You have to overlay them. And these will go in my box. And I thought maybe some kind of a darker contrast would look pretty. This really warms my heart using my fabrics that I have had in my cupboards for years and years and years. And then isn't this lovely? It's a real pretty soft cotton. Real nice. That's pretty. All right. Let's see what else we got here to make our, and I've got this little lacy thing. And this will be cute on top because you can see through it. That's what I like about that. We'll cut it on the diagonal. That makes it, I like the pointy things that stick out on the cluster. And then, I don't know, this is over cute. And I think I like this over this. And we might as well just put it on top of this, make this our base. Okay, let's try it. We've got fabric, we've got brown. Just gonna have to cut some of them in half so we can see them all. That's good. That'll be cute. You see how I'm layering it so that you can see every piece of, that I lay down? I'm looking and see. So it doesn't matter if it's like in a semicircle or something uh, to give it a, uh, a flare so that you can see all the different fabrics. And that might be enough just right there. You may not want to put it all there. And then with this netting on top of it, it gives it that little snap. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> and I can even go even further and staple it together. I don't even, well, but I got a button. I'm going to sew this button on there. So I might as well sew it. Here's our little our little cluster. We'll put it right there and we get a needle. Oh, 
Oh, we get to spring forward tonight. Yay! I'm happy about that. Spring forward. Oh, and I also have a bow. I get to use a bow. And what else? There's another type of piece of lace. And another piece of ribbon. I don't know if I want that one, though. I can put... Um, I can put this little ribbon in there, too. Yeah. And this little bow on top. I could put the bow even out here on the edge. If I wanted to. What else? An extra button. I could put the bow with this button there and put this button right there that looks good might as well <laughs> okay i did that let me get some thread <clears throat> and i've got some Got all kinds of thread and I'm going to use this thread it's a little kind of a green thread it's thicker than sewing thread it's it's but it's not um it's probably embroidery thread but it's not that um the kind that you have to separate Now, I better check to see if this will go through. No, it won't. It won't go through my needle. I have to get the thin needle. You know what that means. have to get the skinny needle. It's the longest daggone skinny needle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I say that every time I pick it up. It is three and a half inches long. But I want you to look you there. I got it threaded the first time. There you go. Hi, Deborah. Hi, guys. Oh, it's for doll making. Makes sense so that you could do the joints. <gasps> Joyce, you're just full of knowledge. Full of it, I'm telling you. You're full of it. I'm just going to sew this together a couple of times. And then I'll sew the button on. So we'll put Paris on here. Cheryl, is Perry from Paris? Where's Perry from? I'm thinking he might be French. I'm in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put this button. Just randomly put it on. And then I'm going to sew the um, this little bow on there. 
I might have to sew it to the sew it to the page. Okay. It's a little wooden button and it's kind of cute. So now I'm going to sew the uh, the bow on there. Here's our little cluster. It's going to go right there. Let me just tie this button off. Okay, save all these other little snippets for later. Put this out of the way. I just love it when we do mixed media. So, oh, I could put this on here. That's what I'll do. Trim that. I gotta glue this thing down yet. It's not glued down yet. So let me glue that. Pretty. This is the, the um, whatever this is, the glue comes through it like fabric. So it's got to be some kind of a fabric based paper. It's different, I'm telling you, it's just different. So I think I'm going to put that up there. This was from. <laughs> I should do it as a tip in. Because it's got a message on the back. It says thank you for the rack. Random act of kindness. So thoughtful from Deborah Littlejohn. This was from her envelope and I saved it. So it's going to go as a tip in now. Change your plans. I gotta wipe the glue off the back. <laughs> Which would be just fine because it's a little piece. You probably can't see it, but there's a little piece of tape going along the top of this, like it's scotch tape. Where it came off the envelope, and I'm going to put it right up there with a piece of um, washi tape. We'll put some washi tape on it. Let's see, should we go with yellow? Something like this. I think this will work if I can find the end. That's going to be tricky. Which way is it going? I found a sticky spot. I think it's going this way. No. 
No. No. Tell me. No. Come on. Here we go. We'll get a little piece off of it. Sometimes, sometimes they, uh, I have come across with some, such a variety of washi tape. It's, it's quite interesting. Uh, I bought some off of uh, eBay. Well, I won't do that again. They show you these great big pictures of your tape, of the tape, and it makes it makes it look like you're getting a whole lot of tape. And here's what they end up sending you. Something like this. You know, they take a big close-up picture of the print. And when you get it, it's so small, you can't even see the print on it. You know, it's either looking like this or they send you a little tiny roll. Let me show you. These little tiny baby rolls. My gosh. Or they, they take and they blow these pictures up. And it makes you look like you're getting like a big sticker. And these are the rolls you get. This is this is what I hate about eBay. <laughs> and then they count in a different number system than we do and they use dot zero zero zeros and all this stuff and it's less than less than inches and stuff like that. They go by centimeters and they, they they're giving you 104 centimeters and not inches. <laughs> you know, you think you're getting a whole lot of stuff. And you get stuff like this. Oh, well, you live and learn. So now I buy mine from Michael's for 50, when they had that 50% off sale. That's what I do. Or Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got this down. It's okay. I got my tip in, and we're going to put our chair right here. I can make it a tip in, too. This has got a tip in. Should I make it a tip in and put a secret message on the back? Let's see what we can find. Ooh, this is pretty. It's kind of a gold heart. I forgot I had that. I don't remember buying it. Somebody might have gave it to me. But it matches the uh, brown. That It's kind of a gold, bronzy heart. So I'm going to put it on here. Is a tip in. Hi, Abby. What you doing under my feet? Huh? What you doing under my feet, pumpkin? Huh? What are you doing, girl? She's hiding. She's a hiding. Okay, I've got another tip in. So, what should we put on the back side? And we've got my cluster to put it and the butterfly. Now the butterfly's got to go right here. And my cluster can go. <sighs> Rats. Rats. Where's my cluster going to go? I was going to put my cluster here, but I can't if it's going to be a tip in. I need some suggestions. I guess I could still put it there. I could trim it. I could trim this off so that it wouldn't overlap the chair. Uh, 
tip it all in. Okay, well, what are we going to put on? We got to put something back here. I'm going to uh, cut this off with my pinking shears. So that the card will open up. So that'll work. We're gonna we're gonna do both, and I guess I can glue it down. I think I can glue it down if I use tacky glue on the top of the chair. I can give it a haircut down here too. I, I've got the button, but if it if it was even with the even with this card, like a rectangle, would work. But it's a little bigger. Kind of like it right there. I know. We can put something else there though. Fear not. We can make. Let me go check and see what's in my box. <laughs> what else can we make? I love this page. It's it's really cute. It's moisty, but it's cute. Let's see what we got in the style, the box of style. Mm -hmm. I got this box for Christmas. With my Christmas present in it. And I kept the box. Because it's such a cute box. So we used the money. I do have some pictures. Here were those red, those bows I was looking for the other day. I'm going to put these in the doggy book because that's where I was wanting the bow for. I overlooked them. This says, <clears throat> it's not all there. Okay. And here's some, that would be cute behind the chair. And on the back side of the chair. If you lift it up and see her. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of guys we can put back there. They would look cute back there. make it um <clears throat> I got several pieces of paper and these are like from envelopes okay and this is some more of uh, Deborah Little John's envelope and I can make a little booklet uh, like a little tablet so we could write notes back here if I put these back there and then we can use them for journaling pages <laughs> yeah that would be cute and I can do some um, use up some of this paper I could put a kitty cat back there that's from Sue I could put a kitty cat on the paper and make a little journaling spot wouldn't that be cute I've got all kinds of cute things in here. There's a pink flamingo. I also have one of these. This is a little bag that uh, Journey sent me. And it, it, uh, 
is a little food bag like you would put a hoagie sandwich in it you know like if you're selling a sandwich in the deli and then you can see part of the sandwich and staple it to sell well she had a whole box of these these uh sandwich bags and i've been using them for pockets and uh stash spots <laughs> and tipsy and, and things that that's a really cute to use fun to use yeah, and I'm going to take this to the kitchen because I was using for, for something to open up a jar the other day. Somebody sent this to me. I didn't write it on there. I don't see anybody's name. It was in some happy mail. I have trouble opening my glue jar, too. What do you all think? I s but I'm ignoring you. No, wait a minute. What are you saying? The top of the chair. What about a paper doll? Oh, a paper doll. Maybe not. Uh, okay. Oh, dear. More boxes. We are telling you, sweet Beth. Can you see us? What did you say? We don't throw anything out of value. Yeah, yeah. And they would, and the pages are not too girly. They would look good. Okay. She matches the theme suggestions, I meant to say. She sees, but she's, no, I'm not ignoring you. Okay. So, I was just giving you more options. Put Vaseline on the glue jar. Good idea. The lady. You want the lady? Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. You like the lady. Okay. I just went off on a little bit of a trail. That's all. We can save this idea for another day. <laughs> I like the lady, too. It's a sticker. I'm going to use the lady. Thank you, Deborah. Deborah Little John. We can name her Deborah. Because Deborah sent that to me. And we'll put this with the doggy book. Okay, okay, okay. So, there. And I want to put a little sticker here. They do like the notebook idea, too. Yeah. Oh, well. That's okay. We'll, we will do it again. Because that, that gives us um, something to look forward to. <laughs> That's right. Let me glue this down with some tacky glue. And we'll move on. This has been fun. Thanks, guys. You all been a big help. It's, it's a lot funner with you guys. There's our cluster. I'm going to put our butterfly right here. I know it. We do something fun, even if we have to make it fun, make it up. <laughs> okay. There's our flip. There's another little flip. Thank you for the RA key from Deborah Littlejohn. Her name is on here. And I think I might have Deb Weavers over here on this, this side. Most of this, most of it's from Deb. And I've got I've got the um, ticket to ride. Oh, I've got some tickets too. I'll put some tickets in here. And I want to put a sticker right there. I find something special. I've got something special. Right here. 
find something special. This was happy mail. Go boldly. How about that? Yeah, go boldly. Travel. Go. Go. Go, go boldly. And it's kind of a gold. And it matches the gold uh, washi tape. Go boldly. And I still want to get a B in there. I'll put a B right here. Uh, I'll go get my B stamps. Oh, too late. I found a sticker instead. A bee sticker and said, Oh no, Teresa lost her bone folders. All of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not right yet, Cheryl. Don't send me any, any happy mail <laughs> for a while. I'm still using up what I got, unless you, unless you really want me to have some more. I've got happy mail probably from you too. So I have a bumblebee. And I'm going to put him right here so he can be flying around with the butterflies. Kind of like telling a story, like the birds and the bees, you know. Look at here. Cheryl gave me this bumblebee right here. So I got a sticker. And I forgot what I was going to do now. Oh, a ticket. Ticket, 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 ticket. Yeah, on my ticket. Got a whole bunch of them. Foil hearts. We just have to put a foil heart on there too. Just because. Just because I came across them. And I wonder if I can do another, if there's another travel. Another travel verse. If you can think of another traveling, because we got this one, buy the ticket, take the ride. If you can think of another something snazzy, uh, uh, I can write it in. I might be able to write it in. And in the meantime, I've got tickets. Found them. Got tickets. I'll glue them here. So when you open it up, I'll tear them apart so that I can do like something like that. Cute as a button. <laughs> Teresa's going to send me some happy mail. Okay. We'll do a big page when it gets here. Sure. Teresa. Isn't that cute? I got to let that dry. So we've got some, um, I would like to put some more words. Um, how about um, places, names of, of places over there <clears throat> in Italy? Somebody look up uh, cities, c 
cities in, in in Italy. Is that where everything is? Italy. And I'll write some of their names down. <laughs> well, I'll use some and then I'll save some, Teresa. You know how I like to hoard. <laughs> I hoard my stuff. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> I didn't get to use this, so this will go back in the box. And this will go back in the box. Yes, like Rome. Okay, I've got a Sharpie. We'll just write them down and fill in this. Fill in all these little blank spaces here. And I'll write them every which way. Keep them coming. There you go, Teresa. <laughs> Maples. Let me turn my page. Turn. Turn. Ginkgo. I don't know if there's a word on here. Genoa. Now that sounds like Bologna to me, but I'm that's the way we spell Bologna baloney when I have to write Bologna. No, I'm teasing. B L O G N A. Okay, I misspelled it. Wow, Florence, who's the end? The end. My neighbor, uh, one of my best friends, she, she, her family is, oh, Tuscany, good one. She, she is uh, full Italian and, uh, and they, uh, they, uh, she, she is very uh, proud of her heritage and everything. And um, when she got out of college, she went over there to Italy and met some of her cousins, distant cousins. And um, she ended up getting a uh, an apartment and stayed over there. No, I don't need all that many, just the popular ones. And... Uh, and Cheryl, I got Turin in there twice, but that's okay. It must be a great place. But she stayed over there after she got out of college for like, you know, I think six weeks or so. And uh, lived over there and to tootled around and got to see a lot of stuff. So, okay. I think, doesn't that look good? Just like that. So uh, we have we have a um, a travel page, and it's got a postcard with a stamp, and it's got a flip out that says uh, "Buy the ticket, take the ride." And I found some tickets. 
And then we gave him $100 cash for spending money. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And um, so that's cute. And then over on this side, we have more kindness, less judgment. And we have a, cha a chair that says go boldly over top. And a nice cute little lady. And this is pretty on the back side, so I didn't want to cover it up. And we have a wonderful little cluster with a butterfly and some wonderful paper. It's I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to ink the edges. And uh, see if that'll work. Oh, yeah. And then all I have left to do is to sign it. Sign it. Sign it and date it. So this is real mixed media. Really mixed media. Okay, this chat is wild. <laughs> we just have a good time. That's all there is to it. No doubt about that. So, aren't those wonderful? I love it. Now, let's see. I'll go ahead and put those two names in there, too. S-I-E. And uh, Trento. T-R-E-N-T-O. Okay. There you go. <laughs> now, Joyce, is that a place or are you saying magnificent or something that looks great? I'm not sure. <laughs> I like that. I like it. Porifino. Is that a place? I'll put it on there if it is. <laughs> so, and you know what else I thought of? Uh, I've got a, an ink pad that has, is a place. Okay, I'll put it on there. That um, has writing, like a letter. And um, <clears throat> sometimes I take and I just dab it on some of the yellow areas. I think it would look good. It's like a. A cursive writing. I don't think it says anything. And I will put it on in black, I guess. And I'll put it on um, in different directions to make it look like writing in the background. Add some character. It's a song? Okay. Yeah, I like that. How about that? Yeah. 
there's a lady on YouTube that uh, cooks Italian, real Italian. I'm sure there is. So, yeah, I really like it now. How about them apples? Okay, good, 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 good. Let me give it a little heat. Give it a little dry. Okay. We're done. We're done with this one. Let me date it. Okay. Okay. So, shall we do a doggy tag next? I do have time to do a little bit of clay if you want to do some clay with me. I have to make up a bunch of angels for Carehart. Shall I do just 15 minutes of clay so I can get some of them cut out? <laughs> Let me do 15 minutes of clay and then we'll do a doggy tag. That way we can, we can get some things out of the way. I need to go and get my rolling pin. I don't have my rolling pin in here. Just a moment. Let me go get my rolling pin. We're going to make some angels for Carehart.
now I just have to find my angel, <laughs> my angel cutting uh, cookie cutter. Ooh, that's part of a thing we did the other day. Okay. If I put it up where it's supposed to be, it'll be right here with the rest of them. With the rest of them. And it is. Found it. Good job. This won't take long. I've got a box I can lay them in. This is easy. This is easy stuff. Hi, Sharon. Oh, Hamy. Yeah, he was a pretty cool guy. I still got him. He's still over here. He hangs out. I still have to feed him. Well, we could do bingo again if you want to strike it up again. We can start doing bingo again for a while if you guys are interested. I'd like to have I'd like to have a few people actually play uh, to play with me on both the you know the bingo and the uh, art art part. But we can do it again. How many of you want to do bingo again? Remember the bingo days? <laughs> I like you too, Giovanna. <laughs> That's right. Now, let's see if I can squish this up so that there's not any sp too much space in between. We'll try that. But anyway, in case you all didn't hear my announcement the other day, uh, there's a Carolyn Hart is over a disabled art program. And she uh, has these silent auctions going on or something like that. And um, she, uh, people donate things to her and she aux auctions off. And then she raises money. And she also collects art supplies. And she sends them to disabled artists who can't afford some of the art things that they on their wish list and um it's a real sweet organ it's a real sweet uh foundation yeah disabled artist foundation thank you violet and uh, there's a website and everything for it and it's tax deductible and so there's a lot of girls that donate to carol and she calls these girls angels so uh sue thomas suggested since i like to do stuff to call to contact her and see if there's anything that i could do for her and i and when she told me about the angels i had these in my hands and i said oh well i can make her a bunch of these <laughs> so i'm going to make her a bunch of these and i'm going to give them i don't know if they'll be ready by mar this month but they will be given to her and I'm going to start uh, maybe a couple times a year. I can give her some of these, make her some and give her some. And, um, and of course, when I fire them and paint them all different colors, they'll look like this. And I will be putting a pin back, you know, one of these, uh, the pin, I can gl hot glue this on the back of it. And uh, it'll stay, and and it will stay, and I will make a pendant. 
So I'm going to make these for Carol to use any way she wants to use them. If she wants to send them as thank you notes to the people who donate to her, uh, I think I'm, I can put them on a, a business card of some sort that, that says maybe thank you from Care Heart or whatever and make up some kind of uh, cute little business card and put some stuff on it. I'll, I'll, I can make that up. And then I can put this on the card. All you have to do is punch two little holes and this goes, this slides onto the card and it, then you have a card to give with your heart, with your angel. And, uh, and, and uh, so I think that would be cute. <clears throat> and she says she has like 30 or 40 girls that donate every month. And, uh, so, uh, maybe, uh, oh, there you go, Cheryl. That's a good idea. But, um, cause you can still, um, uh, I can, I can mass produce these cause I got four already pr punched out right now, you know, so I can probably get a bunch of these done up and, uh, and if I can do them with you guys, if I get to do them with you then it's even it's even more meaningful because we're doing it as a group now so it's not just me hi honey what you doing what you got he's got something behind his back guys what is it oh <sighs> he was out there on the porch talking to his mom and he cut up a cereal box and saved them for me. Now, how supportive as a, of a husband does anybody have that would do that for me? That's the easy part. The hard part was cutting it out because that's heavy cardboard. <laughs> no, the hard part was folding three loads of clothes. Oh, you did clothes too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he does clothes too, girls. <sighs> I'm just so spoiled. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not bragging, but isn't this sweet? Thank you, honey. I think it's cool. That was very thoughtful. You can stick them places. I will. I'll stick them in some Happy Meal. Yeah. Sorry, Crampy. No trade. I waited for 40 years. I roamed the earth for 40 years for this boy. <laughs> and so I'm you, not giving him up. So if you get any of those in your Happy Meal, it's for me. There you go. There you go. There's your dinner. <laughs> he is a sweetheart, guys. I am so, so blessed. I don't get anything else in this old world. I don't need anything else. So anyway, we're doing this as a group, guys, as a care heart group. And um, you all want to get to watch me make them. And you're going to watch me paint them. And you're going to watch me fix up the help me make up the business card and Violet, you can help me that with that too, because you you're good with the computer. <laughs> I have a, uh, a very old print master <laughs> program. That's probably, well, it's 20 years old. I'll tell you how old it is. And, uh, and I still have it and it still works and I can make up business cards and I can use, um, clip art and decorate it and stuff <laughs> well maybe i can get you to make me my business cards for me for to put these on i'll have to show you what i want to do but i i can print 10 cards out on a piece of cardstock is what i do and then i cut them out by hand and i usually use the decorative scissors and um i'll i'll demo it uh on what I do, but I need some information on Care Heart or what would be good on a business card uh, if I put this if I put this little angel on there, and it would be like a return address size, something like that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, I don't care what you use, uh, but I need something on the card, and. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of if I've got anything business cardy around. So anyway, I've already got this many done. 
and um, I do want to do another firing. So I, uh, I've got one more firing left to do for a uh, uh, bisque that's ready. I have to paint. I've got more painting to do. And then um, I have to get busy and make some more uh, clay things so I can do another bisque fire. Yeah. And um, get a box. And who was asking me about a fish? Right, exactly, Violet. Let me give you a demo. And I can demo it with this one that's that I already have. Um, what I usually do, let's see if I got something already made up. Um, let me, uh, I usually, um, I've got a business card app on my printing program and I can get 10 business cards on one sheet of cardstock. So the cardstock would be a little rectangle about this is this is too big. But what I do is uh, when I I get the size and I take and I cut my business card out like this. And it's cardstock, not paper. This is just paper. And I do this around my business card after I print it. And I usually cut each card out separately <laughs> because I want them to look like this. <laughs> and uh, it's just my favorite style of doing, doing my cards. And then I take my hole puncher and I've got a little one. A little hole puncher. Let's see if I can find it. This I take this small hole puncher, and I will take, and I will punch. I'll find it exactly when I do. I'll do a couple samples. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I usually, and then let me glue the back on the, my angel so you can really see what I'm talking about. Got to get my hot glue gun out now. Oops. Get back here. <clears throat> this will this will give it a more uh, effect uh, that I want you to see. It's easier for me to show it to you than to try to describe it, but it gives you a better idea, and it won't take me long. I find the plug. But um, all of the angels will probably be just like this with a pin back on it. And I usually take and put my pin back on with this on the right side. And I will hot glue this on. So this side will have the heart, uh, the angel on it. I will cut each of the cards by hand with the scissors from here to here and make a V so that those two uh, dots will line be opened with a little flap. And then on this side, 
right here will be whatever we want to put uh, a dolly mm. incorporate a dolly well maybe we can do it on okay okay it's doable yes we could do dollies and i'll show you how okay this is so great guys <laughs> i have enough dollies to uh <laughs> accommodate <laughs> okay i'm just going to get yeah, I think I have a bunch of these. Okay, here's what we'll do. We will we will take and use labels, the two inch by three inch labels, okay, the mailing labels, and then and then that way we can print out on the labels. And and what I was going to have you do, what I was going to do at first. Let me get this hot glue. Oh, it's warm. This glue gun is uh, not coming out. I think I need to use my exacto knife. <laughs> Never drive faster than the angels can fly. That's good advice. I got a big uh, drop of glue that's preventing my glue from going inside the glue gun. Um. Well. I have some E6000. It used to be right there, but I think I let Joe borrow it. Uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because he's going to allow it. He will. It's going in there. It's just not coming out. Okay. But anyway, we can do we can do a do a doily a dolly, and um, and um, <clears throat> uh, we can work with that, and um. I don't know where this hot glue gun came from, <laughs> but it's a reject. It's a reject. I think it might be broken. I don't know. I don't. I've never used it before. I've never. I think I got it at a yard sale. Here's my glue gun. I got this plug under my desk. Which is convenient, except I can't see to plug it in, pl plug things in, unless I get up and go upside down. This one will work. This one's hot, and uh, the glue stick's going in, but it's not. There it comes. Yeah, now it works. <laughs> now it works. Okay, so anyway, I glue the pin back onto the back of the, the angel like this. And then I take my scissors and I make a little V in my car, on each card. So each one of these are made, really, really they're made 
So I've got this little V thing going on. So I take the take this and put it in over the um, I put the holes over the back of the the pin back like this, and that little V is in the middle now. So there's the angel on the business card. Okay, and we can we could we could put this on a doily. I also have some heart doilies. Just a moment, please. Now we're going on an angel trail. We've been on doggy trails, happy mail trails, <laughs> happy trails to you. And I got doilies. I got tons of doilies, guys. I'll probably ought to show you why we're here. Now I got my hot glue hot. I'm going to burn myself. So I'll let you see some of my doily collection. But I've got a bunch of these that, that um, I can I know I would have enough of. So I know I've got a bunch of these. I got stacks of them. Here they are. And I've got some, uh, here's a heart, but I've got some smaller ones. I may have used them. I'll keep digging. I've layered them in, his, in here in uh, small batches so that I could flip through and find something really fast. These are antique ones. I found these at a yard sale, and these are real old. These came from the Dollar Tree. They got a butterfly in them. Well, I must have uh, used them all up. Seems to me I did. I gave them all out. But uh, I did have some little hearts, and they were... They were small like this, only they were white. But I do have a lot of this kind of doily that I would have enough of. But anyway, my idea is whatever we decide to do, either with a doily or not, uh, I'm still got to make the the angels and uh, I told her I could probably make her about 50 of them pretty easy and uh, and I'll probably I'll probably just send them all to her and let her uh, do what she wants with them and and she she was wondering about how she was going to mail this to uh, her angels and I would suggest um, you can buy you can buy bubble wrap, bubble wrap uh, envelopes, and I think if you were, I think if you were to put this in a bubble wrap envelope, that it would mail. Uh, it would be okay to mail it, and that would be my loving suggestion on mailing it and not having to fool with a box. It would, it would be easier. <laughs> Yeah, Violet can make angels uh -huh, and dollies. <laughs> I bet you, yeah. But anyway, that's that's this is my idea to put it on a business card, and we could still do it on a doily. Uh, you know, we could still uh, work it out. I don't know. Maybe we could wrap it in the doll in the doily uh, somehow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We've got I've got bigger dollies. We could wrap it e even and make a little personal envelope, but uh, uh, that would be good. Yeah, but this was this was my thought on a business card, and I would just need a, a sticker about this size to put on here, or I could print it out if I do it on my computer. I just need. The care heart information and thank you angels 
or whatever you think would be look cute. Maybe, maybe uh, uh, Cheryl can come up with a poem <laughs> to these little angels. <laughs> You're so, you know, these angel girls are so giving. Um, you know, we this is just a little thank you. Uh, yeah, kind of like a twinchy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, we just just a little something to thank you for your thoughtfulness. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to come up with something to say to these girls. And I've never donated to them before. So I, that's why I thought maybe you guys could help me come up with a slogan or something to say something cutesy. Maybe something that rhymes. <laughs> We might have to put a tip in on it. <laughs> we'll put a tip in on it. <coughs> this hot glue gun. I'm unplugging it now. So anyway, that was my my thought. And we're just, this is just the start. I've got to make the angels. So we've got plenty of time to talk about it. So, uh, you know, everything is, everything's good. You know, everything's good. So we're still, we're still in the, in the, in the uh, engineer room. <laughs> We're still in the engineer room. So there you go. Okay. Now back to my angels. Oops. But I've done, uh, I've done pin backs before. So, you know, I kind of, as far as, uh, creating them in the clay and you know i'm i'm good to go and uh yeah we've got time and uh, and then had i don't want it to be real, real real long you know uh yeah you can make a card that folds in half exactly so so you guys uh maybe maybe you'll think of something catchy in a rhyme tomorrow and just you know put it in the message to me and we'll we'll write them all down and we'll do some mind mapping on it. Yeah, we could do that. And if we if we use a uh an, an a, a five by eight envelope, we'd have it would be room enough in the envelope to put a card that big in it. So it'd be like a thank you card. And I love the idea of us doing it together. Yeah. Well, let us make let us get the card size figured out first and then we can do the envelope. Yeah. Yeah. But but again, um um uh, we're going to for the kickoff would be good to do, you know, to go all out all out, but if we're talking about uh I don't know that I can do 50 every month. You know, I don't know that I want to do that many, but at least at like a one time uh, thank you type thing. And um, and we might, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how many people she helps every month. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. I don't know any more about her. Other than I know she's got a website and I know that she started this on her own not too long ago and she's having a lot of success with it and and she's got a lot of people involved in it. And I know that um, she's helping a lot of people and I totally get art as a therapy. It's it is perfect. And um, uh, so I don't know that, you know, I can do this. This might be an anniversary thing, you know, something to celebrate her anniversary. If if we can get it all done by the first, I don't know when her first year's up. 
you know, this might be a promo thing, you know, for her to help her business as it as this business grows. Yes. It's legal nonprofit, yes, and it's and it's tax deductible. Yes. So that's that's all I know. I'm just going to make the angels. And maybe, you know, uh, if somebody uh, is real good at doing business cards or whatever size card we want to choose, you know, maybe uh, maybe somebody else, you know, I'll make the angels and somebody else will want to do the, the cards and I've showed you how to attach it. And uh, and I can do I can do all of this part and somebody else can do that part and we can all work together on it. <laughs> oh, share already. Well, angels are above. Angels are around. We are thankful for the angel care has found. Oh, that's pretty. I better write that down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> And, um, you know, that may be all we need to put on the business card. That might be just it. And we, we could use colored paper. We don't have to use uh, white. And, uh, you know, we, I don't know if she has a particular color theme or anything, if pink or blue or whatever, uh, something like that we could do. A lot of options in art. <laughs> yes, I understand that particular typo. <laughs> I do that all the time. That's me. I didn't say angle. I said angel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the angels are donators like us. Well, we can tweak it. Yes, we can always tweak it. Yes. That's why I need you guys to help me with come up with something to say because I don't know all these little tiny details yet. So, and Violet knows. So, that's good. This is good. We can tweak it. And um, because uh, this is going to be sent. For right now, these angels are going to be sent to the givers, and uh, and I'm I'm thinking, you know, Carol can do whatever she wants to do if she wants to give them to them, you know, next whenever I get them to her, she can give them out that next month, or she can give them out when as a promo on a you know a big uh, anniversary day or something like that. I'm going to write this down just in case we need to refer to it. We are thankful for the angels. We are thankful for the angels that care. Thankful for the angels who care. Something like that, maybe. So we can we can always tweak it. 
Yeah, her name's Carol. Uh huh. Tweet, tweet the angels. <laughs> Cheryl is Cheryl is our poet. She's our official poet. I've got a little book here, and this book is full of all of Cheryl's poetry. I write them all down. You know how Dee Dee has her uh, her netbook. She's got a netbook. So when somebody says something really funny and catchy and it's, it's got a big kick to it, she writes it in the net, nuts and bolt book. Well, this is this is this is my my Cheryl's poetry book. <laughs> I write all of her poetry down, and some of her poetry I put with the art. Yeah. So, uh, she's the founder. Carol is the founder of the group, of the organization. And uh, she lives in Fort Myers. So, uh, so, anyway, we'll definitely work on that. I think we work well together. Well, that's what we talked about, Suzanne. We kind of talked about it. And if she doesn't want the business card, then she can take them off. They're, they're just going to be slipped on here uh, by this little slot. They're not going to be glued on or anything. You can take them right back off. You know, that's how I usually do my... Um, pendants when I make pen when I make pendants out of clay this is what I usually do But this is just something that she can um, she can give as thank you notes to her suppliers as a memento for their generosity. And she doesn't have to keep sending it to people she's already sent them to. You know, this could be like to just for new new members once everybody gets one that's in the group. Right. It's not a business card. It's just a little poem that holds the, the, the pen. It's just a little, it's just for looks. Yeah, it's just for looks. It's not her business card. And she can put her business card in the envelope if that's what she wants to do. You know, if she needs to do that. And I don't even know if she has business cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, she can do anything she wants with them, but <coughs> I'm suggesting that she gives them away whenever she receives a donation. I would like, that's what my intention was, not to sell, because I don't know that, I don't know that my stuff is good enough to sell. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not, I don't sell my work. I give it away. So if I give it away, then she, she should give it to the donators. It's a, it's a thank you gift because they give so much. But anyway, it's up to her. It's whatever she wants to do. It's not my decision. 
But if she wants to sell them, she can sell them. But I'm give, I'm going to give her a, a, a box full of them. And I told her, I promised her 50 of them. And uh, depending on how fast I can roll them out. <laughs> I don't know. I, they're okay. They're just little. It's just clay. It's just dirt. Just dirt. Dirt from the earth. Mm hmm. But um, um, but you know, my it's not that big of a of a gift. You know, it's just a little craft. It's a pen, and you know, it's a it's a craft item. You know, and it's just a little uh, trinket, and it's a it's it would be perfect for a thank you gift. And that was the first thing she said. She said, I can give them to the people who donate. And I said, perfect. So that's what she said. And and she, she can change her mind if she wants to. Cheryl, uh, Carol, Cheryl is on her, her phone. I think her iPad is in the shop. <laughs> and if she, if she, if she gets fat fingers and doesn't type it right, she'll delete it. So don't just don't pay any attention to it. <laughs> I get, I'm just used to her being there and she's okay. <laughs> I, I just get used to it. She just didn't want, she doesn't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> so she's okay. She'll get it out here in a minute. She'll she'll find the right words. <laughs> Won't you, Cheryl? She'll get it right. There she goes. Angels are above, angels all around, angels doing good deeds without a sound. That's pretty, Cheryl. And and like I said, it's going to take me two weeks to get this done. Uh, because I have to have enough to go in the pot, uh, in the oven, enough to, to burn. So uh, I can make up three or four trays of these. But I still have three more trays to put in the oven. Of, uh, other things to make. <laughs> Is that better? I better write it down, Cheryl, before it rolls off. <laughs> if I could just keep my pen. Is all around. Very good. I've got it written down in case somebody loses it. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, I'm just going to give them to Carol and she can do with them what she wants to do. And, uh, but that's all, that's all of the information I have at this, at this particular time. And she can change her mind if she wants. I won't, I won't mind whatever she wants to do. <laughs> You're on overload. You've had a busy day, Cheryl, anyway. <laughs> Well, thank you, Sharon. You know, well, you guys are helping now. You guys are a part of it. We're a group. <laughs> angels united. <laughs> we, we can be angels united. Oh, good. I I wasn't going to go um, professional with the name. <laughs> <coughs> just just essence. We can be the bingo angels. <laughs> oh, look what Joe found. They're like emojis. <laughs> They're like the little emojis <laughs> come off of the cereal box. Cheryl's going to get a new laptop. Great. That'll come in handy. Hi, Dad. I got 
to show you what we did tonight. You're going to like it. <laughs> You're going to have to watch the rerun. We made a Happy Mail out of some of your Happy Mail. <laughs> we made a Happy Mail art page. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm surprised your ears weren't burning. Everybody was liking everything you sent me. <laughs> I've got everybody's happy mail in a box and I use it, you know, from time to time, but I have not been using it up fast enough. So I've been doing happy mail art pages with just the happy mail. Yeah, buddy. So thank you again for my happy mail. Hi, honey. Have I been coughing? Have I been coughing? Yeah, a couple times. A couple times? No, touch it with that. Joe says I've been coughing. Occasionally. I'm having a hot flash. How about some air? Well, you ain't got nothing on, do you? I know. It. I need some air. Y'all working on the desk. You're starting to get all <laughs> hot and bothered. <laughs> Hi, Janet, JB, Sue. Who are you talking to? I don't know. That chat's not even moving over there. It's not. Uh -uh. Why not? I don't know, but this one is. I see that. Now, last week, the chat on my iPad wasn't moving, but my my big computer was, and now my big computer's not moving. You'll have to scroll it down. See that double arrow right there? Yeah. Pull it down. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, just just roll roll your, your roller down. on the Yeah, roll down. Don't touch that. Go left. Go left. Right there. Just take that roller. Uh -huh. Go down here to the bottom and roll. Just roll. Roll that little wheel. Oh, okay. No, don't touch that. Go down. Go down. Go down to the bottom of the page. Thank you. Thank you. Now roll that roller. Okay, go down to where my name is. There you go. Now you're going. Now you're going down. Is that as far as it goes? That was it. It's there. Well, okay then. Can't make me. What just... time? Do you have a time on there? I got a time stamp. Yeah. Nine fifty. Okay. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Joe's in here causing trouble, girls. <laughs> He's causing trouble. Let her know I got her number. Yeah, Deb, that's what it is. It's my own little personal summer. Just for me. I get them quite often. What summer sweats? Hot flashes. They're my personal moments. Just for me. <laughs> what about you, dog? You get them too? <laughs> You just sit there behind mom and just be so good. She's my angel. Well, oh, hi. You better not chase the cat. Who took the dog out? <laughs> That's pretty. Did those taste like the, the ones I, that you had? They got a lot of menthol in them, don't they? I've got some just like them. We've been. Um, Investing in a lot of cough drops lately. Today we found the big, the family, the family pack. Didn't know they had a family pack. We were buying all these little bags of cough drops that only have about 25 in the bag. And he went down one aisle and he says, Well, looky here. This one's got a hundred. <laughs> Beth. 
She pats it to the left and pats it to the right. She gets a hot flash to get it right. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm going to have to write that one down. <laughs> pats it. Pats it. <clears throat> Well, I lost my pen again. I don't know what I did with it. Found it. To the left. The right. She gets a hot flash. Okay, Violet. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll work on it. I'll think about it. I might I might do up a little demo card. And once you all see how I do it, maybe you'll you all will accept it. That's right. Don't forget to set your clocks. We spring forward. Just enjoy the extra hour of sleep until they get it right, until they figure out how to do it. I remember when they first started doing time change. Wasn't it like in the 70s when they did all that late 70s? Was that when they started it? I remember I thought they were doing it for kids, you know, for the school bus and all. But mom said that they did it. They started doing it for the farmers. We spring forward. So we lose an hour. That's right. We do lose an hour. Oops, I ripped her arm off. Hey, she might be a disabled angel to join the disabled artist. No pun intended. Just saying. She could be a dis... But then when they're angels, you're not disabled anymore. Isn't that right? After we become angels. Who knows their angel theology? Nineteen sixty six. Well, I wasn't too far off. But I was in school, so I remember. Sixty 
Yeah, I was about five, six, seven years old. Well, let's give a give a little head head count here and see how we got. How many do we got? Half done. This half. This thirty. Thirty-five. Some of these aren't going to make them though. I, I can tell you right now they're too thin. Somebody was asking me about fish, and I do have a fish cutter. Well, there's 50. I got 50. A couple little extra ones in case some of them brag. That was not going to make it. It's real thin. I got 50. Maybe I better make a few extra just in case. <laughs> an army of angels. That's right. Sometimes we need an army to take to protect us. That's right. There was a vi there was a video picture of that the other day. Sometimes the angels are are soldiers or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it could be the runt. It could be a little angel in training. <laughs> I was wondering where these were. I needed some more of these the other day. These go in my kiln in my oven. And they are they're, they're separators for my shelves. I thought I had more. It's all right. The littlest angels. Oh gosh, I can't remember, but it sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, I wish they were cookies. <laughs> Had some sugar cookies. Mm -mm -mm. I am Teresa. <laughs> I'm playing around. <laughs> I'm wedging my clay. <laughs> Is Suzanne still in here? I bet she's going on to bed.
You cut them out with the cookie cutters. Oh, you were you were uh, kneading the dough for the biscuit dough for your dumplings. With a pizza cutter, there you go. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I'm going to make out just a few little extra ones in case some of them don't make it backup angels. We'll have to have some backup angels. This used to be my rolling pin in the kitchen. <laughs> I think I got this thing when I was about 18 years old. And uh, the uh, washers have come out of it, but I don't know how to fix it. I'd have to have Joe fix it for me. Okay, one last time. guys it's 10 o'clock do y'all want to still we'll do a doggy tag real quick we're on queen queen corgi let's see what kind of a uh let me put this up real quick we'll do a doggy tag i've got some other dogs over here we can use I don't know if it's a corgi or not, but we'll find out. These are too thin. Well, it is. It's a ten. It's ten o'clock, and then we have to spring forward, right? So it's really eleven o'clock. Oh, 
<laughs> Got to rearrange your room, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I Well, I kind of am, I guess. I've had a busy day. But I can do a dog tag. I can do a quickie. You want to see how fast we can do it? We can see how fast we can do it. Slap it together. It's usually fun when we do it that way. So I've got some extras down here. Just in case. So I get got to get busy tomorrow and make some more stuff to put in the oven with it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it anyway. All right. I'm going to leave that there so we can be inspired. This goes over here. This goes over there. This goes back to the garage. Maybe we can use some of these cereals. Joe's brought us. We can make them a cereal queen. <laughs> oh, I was, is Debbie's, uh, Debbie still quit here? Let me show you the book we did. The page we did before you got here. We did a page. See if you can remember any of this stuff. Remember this? Remember this? Oh, not the picture. Remember these? Remember the I don't know who gave me the card. And this. And I don't remember what else. Yeah, it is. Cinnamon. It was. Cinnamon crunch toast. Crispy, sweetened, whole wheat rice cereal. <laughs> but anyway, we had a good time. So this was a trip to Italy. And it says, uh, buy the ticket and take the ride. And I've got some extra cash in here, just in case we need it. Some extra cash to buy something. And the tickets. And we put all of the Italy cities all over it to visit. And then this page was a lot of Deborah Little John. And we made a couple of flip ups and flip outs. And we made a cluster, which we lo I love doing. And uh, and she she had this, she sent me this die cut butterfly. So, those were our pages for today. And this is for the doggy book. And this is for the. See what I got out here already, we can use. <clears throat> and I think. Don't tell me I misplaced it again. No, I didn't. But I've got some other uh, things in here that we can use. This was from Mary. And I got some doggy paper. This is <laughs> Poppy Paul, Puppy Paul prints. There's some. Uh, I was looking for those uh, dogs that we had already cut out. I think I got more than one pile of stash stuff. 
is what I think. I think I've got stuff here and I got stuff over there. Let's see what's under here. This was Happy Mail. That was Happy Mail. There's a magazine paper. This was Happy Mail. Well, I just don't see what I'm looking for. But we do have some St. Patty decorations. We can make do something in green. This is what I did with it. Oh, I had that. I had a picture the other day and I pulled it out and said, Oh, look at this dog. We need to put this in the in the dog book. Found some more stickers, doggy stickers. And it's gonna be right over here. Magazine. Is not there. Not there. We'll just have to make up a, make up another one and go with it. I should have never taken it off of the clipboard because that's where I had it originally. And that's where I remember seeing everything. Here's here's one. I found it. Here we go. There's one of the dogs. And we got horses. And we got this guy, and we got this guy, and we got these two guys. There's a beagle. He'd look cute with some uh, doll clothes. Yeah, my doggy book is right here, and it just has finished, finished dogs in it. I don't have any new dogs in it. It's all the finished dogs. And I'm ready to put another signature in. I've got two, four, there's five more signatures. We went to, we got into the paper dolls and we were going paper dogs, you know. So, uh, they're fun. They're fun to do. Okay, this was the doggy book. It's okay. So, you can't decide. <laughs> well, oh, 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 there's one more dog on the back. Got this guy. That's a York. We need to save him for the wife. We'll just use the beagle tonight. He's good enough for me. And look, he can be his, his helper. Hey, 
and we'll put them on here. And we'll do it to it. And we're going to name him. Are we going to name him Queenie? You all decide, you all can decide what to name him. Find a green outfit with the with the leprechaun. Make him a leprechaun. Let's see if we can find a green outfit. It's a green house coat. Here's some green pants. Here's a green dress. See the question above? Okay. From Susie. It's in, in the mail, Suzanne. It'll be in the mail Monday. It'll be in the mail Monday. It's already packaged. Here's some more green. So far, it's been dresses. This is a mother and daughter outfit. I like that. And then we could put this little doggy here on the little girl. But I don't like the background. So let's change the background. And go with the mother daughter. And what would they look good on? Gee, Willikers. Green. I've got green. Is green too much green for St. Patrick's? Oh, 
Okay, Teresa. Bye. Night, honey. <laughs> well, yeah, we can do we can do we can do uh, people doll. Uh, we can do people tags next. We can do people tags next. After we get done with the dogs, might as well keep the tags to keep the tag going. See, we'll do mother and daughter St. Patrick's Day. That's what I'm going to do. Now we have to come up with names. I think it looks okay. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <whistles> His phones are ringing. Okay, we got this. Gotta get some shoes. Hey, Joe. Your mama's calling. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> How's that for slapping it down? I might have to put some uh, tacky glue underneath that one. <laughs> yep. It didn't want to stick to the uh, glitter. I think it's in the bedroom. Okay. Okay, now, I just need to find some little shoes, right? <laughs> some little tiny shoes. What did I do with those magazines? Oh, yeah, here we go. We got some shoes right there. And some little ones right there. They look just alike, mother, like like daughter. Mm -hmm. There are our shoes. Look at these split. <clears throat> Man. 
maybe I need the little ones for 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 this one. Shouldn't have glued that down. Hold the bus. Okay, I got some little feet under her. Let me find some more feet for the other one. So they got feet under their dresses now. I need arms. Well, looky here. We got some arms right here. There you go. There you go. I got feet and arms. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in here that I think I can use. No. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Did we come up with some names? <laughs> we got to have some some names. Like mother, like daughter. You all think of some names and I'll get some green ribbon. Look there, I've got some green ribbon. Right there. <laughs> it's a mother and daughter. 
Patty and Patty and Pat. Patty and Pat. That'd be good. and tricks. <laughs> For Patty, St. Patty's. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Good night, John. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shall we go with Patty and Pat? Can we do Patty and Pat? Patty McPadden and daughter. <laughs> Cheryl's got all these these uh, English names. <laughs> Irish names. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Have to save that for next time. I keep saving stuff. This will be saved for next time. Let me look at those little bows. I've been crying for these little bows. Oh. This was from Deb Weaver, too. All of this stuff was from Deb Weaver, and I think that's a sticker. We'll say that. Just a saying. This bow is so cute. It's got a um, green stripe in it. Yeah, we spring forward. Does it matter if we have red or green on their waist? Doesn't that they show up? I kind of like the red. I kind of like the red bows. I'm going to use them. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I see how these things just turn out. And they just, I just threw it together. Threw it together. Literally. Threw. Just plopped it on there. Molly and Polly. <laughs> well, since it's St. Patrick's Day coming up and they've got a three-leaf clover on their back and they're dressed up in their greens, we can call them Patty and Pat. 
Patty can be the mom and Pat or Patty can be the little girl and Pat could be the mom. Oh no, the girl. The girl though. Well, then I'll have to put a bow in their hair. <laughs> To make them girls. They're in dresses. They're dresses. <laughs> they can't be. Well, I can't say that they can't be boys, but. <clears throat> it's not that they couldn't be boys, but. But. We're making them girl. They're girls. They're girl puppies. You ever see a girl pup, a girl beagle before? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'll put some ribbons in their bow, in their, on their ears. Okay, Sherry and night, honey. It was really fun. I'm getting ready to get off too. Since we have to spring forward. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to quit. I'm going to put these two bows on. I'm going to name them Pat and Patty and Pat. What day is St. Patrick's Day? Anybody know? And I'm going to put bows in their ears. Perfect. No, they're little, they're little girls. The 17th, okay. Okay, there they are. I'm going to go ahead and name them Patty and Pat. Just because of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Today's the 7th. And St. Patrick's Day is the 17th in 10 days. Okay. Cute dog tag, guys. <laughs> and I I'm, I'm think I'm going to do... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to... Um, the book... <clears throat> I need to do a Coptic stitch on each of the pages. Because I can't... I can't turn the pages very good in the in our book. So that'll be another thing I'm going to do this week is make them individual so that they'll that they'll uh, turn one at a time. And uh, because they don't they're in here and they're they're just it they're I didn't do a very good job. So I will re rebind these and I have enough to do another signature now. So uh, from the last ones that we did. So this will be in the back. But I'm going to let it dry first. So that's cute guys. I love it. So I'll have put that on my to-do list. Oh really? They don't, they don't recognize it over in Ireland? I didn't know that. <clears throat> okay, I'm yawning. I'm going to put my glue brush up. Put it in the water. Need some water in there. Okay. <laughs> well, no, it's not. Catholic, although they have a lot of Catholic over in Ireland, I think. But 
I don't think it's religious related. I think it's related to a guy that, an Ireland guy that uh, had something to do with the coins or something, didn't he? I think there's said we'll have to. I'm just going to have to look it up, and I'll give you all a full full report next week. I'll that'll be our story for next week. Yeah, we have to Google it. <laughs> he was a saint, but it had something to do with the three coins too. It, 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 there was a significant about the three, and it might be religious. Yeah, that's right. So, yes, good night, guys. Good night, Giovanna, Cheryl, Joy, Suzanne. Love you guys, Crafty Kitty. I'm glad you're all hanging out with me. And we will we will do we will pick this up again Tuesday. And I'll we'll do we'll do St. Patrick's Day all week. And 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 see what we can what we can think to think to come up with and you know me i'll come up with something so you all spring forward and be safe be careful get some good sleep let me put the lid on my glue i get to, i need to get the vaseline out bring that in here so uh if y'all need me you can message me it irregulated in ireland okay Thank you, Suzanne. So, good night, Colleen. Good night, everybody. And we'll pick this up again next week where we left off. We'll slowly move forward together. <laughs> so, thanks for hanging with me. Had a ball. Had a fun. I'll post this and I'll post our, our Happy Mail page. I find if I take a picture of it before I leave in here, I have a, a better chance of getting it on the internet, on my Facebook page quicker. I do, I do. That's funny. That's cute. That is cute. I'll adjust her, her bow. Her bow needs adjusted. So that it's not in her eye. I adjusted it. The, the bow wasn't dry. There, that's better. That's the one I'll use. <laughs> so, yes, hugs to everybody. And I'll see you Tuesday. And we'll do some more. Okay, guys. Good night. I'll leave you with that. <laughs>